In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add video to your iPhone project. And uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, Apple's done a ton of work for you to make it really easy to add this to your app. So I have for um, reference a couple of videos here on my desktop. This is a, a very inspirational video from Steve Jobs. If you hit your space bar, you can uh, go ahead and preview that. I have one from one of my uh, app class uh, videos, the promo page here, promo video. And I also have a little tutorial here, a class on uh, downcasting in Swift. So basically the goal is make an app that uh, will play all three of these videos. So um, to get started, let's open up Xcode and um, make a new project. So hit command spacebar to get the uh, spotlight here. And we're just going to type in Xcode and open that up. Uh, and again, if you haven't made an app before, you'll uh, want to check out my How to Make a Freaking iPhone App class. It walks you through all the basics. I'm going to assume you have some level of uh, app experience, um, that you know how to start a project and you know a little bit about Swift. And if you need help on that, please uh, go to the description and check out my class. But uh, So here we go. We're going to start a new Xcode project. Okay, We're just going to do a single view application. And I'm just going to call mine video library, okay? And uh, for the organization identifier, you can put whatever you want there. I just have the reverse name on my website. Uh, we're going to be using Swift, and uh, I decided I'm just going to use this for iPhone, and we don't need to use uh, core data on this one. So we're going to go ahead and hit Next, and uh, then we'll just choose where we want to put this. I'm just going to go ahead and put mine on the desktop. So uh, the first thing every time, the first thing that I do every time I start a new project is I just hit the play button because I want to make sure that it's at least working uh, and that it's going to be a very boring blank app, but I at least want to see that that's there. So here it is. Uh, we have the video library app. It's all white. Okay, whatever. So uh, first thing I want to do is I just want to have a video display here in the first screen of the app. So here we have the main.storyboard is where you kind of do the visual things of the app. Uh, I'm going to pinch on my trackpad to zoom out here. Uh, and this shows our view controller. And we So here's kind of the visual version of the view controller. And here's the code version of that view controller. Okay. Oh, and I had my preferences for the text on the desk. I'm going to go ahead and change those back to the normal ones. There we go. These are kind of fun to play around with if you ever... Uh, want to do that, but let's just go back to basic. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, the code version of our view controller. Just to clarify things, I'm going to get rid of this did receive memory warning. I've yet to use that in my programming career, so uh, we'll just kind of trash it. So uh, in order to show a video here up on the iOS simulator, uh, we need to use something that's called an MP movie player controller. And this is something that Apple made for us that's so simple to play video. You literally just tell it the name of a file and it will like start playing it for you. So speaking of which, let's uh, bring one of our video files into Xcode. So I'm going to take this Steve Jobs clip and I'm just going to go ahead and drag it into the Xcode uh, project here on the left. Uh, you want to make sure you have copy items uh, checked, create groups, and also the app target for your whatever your, the name of your app is. Maybe it's called uh, My Video or whatever. Just make sure that's selected. So we'll hit Finish. And now we can see that that video is here. And if I kind of go back to full screen uh, and hit Play, we see that that's working. So uh, you'll have to find some video, whatever the video is that you want to play. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, it's because you have a video that you want to play. So um, Whatever your video is, just go ahead and drag it into here. Um, so now that we have that, let's go back to this viewcontroller.swift, and this is where we're going to make that MP movie player controller that Apple has created for us that allows us to play videos. Okay, so first thing that we got to do is up here under import UI kit, we're going to type import media player. And this is importing all that code that uh, Apple has written for us, and it makes it really easy for us to now play video. So since we've done that, we're going to make a class property called movie player, okay? And this is going to be an MP 
movie player and hopefully it does the autocomplete for you if you just keep hitting tab you can go all the way over and we're going to make this an optional uh, because you know we don't want to set it initially we want to in this um, you know view did load function that's where we're going to do all the magic to make it a reality so uh, we've done all of that and if you have a question about what an optional is again my class covers this and uh, I'm, there's tons of other resources online too if you're looking for that um, okay, so now that we're here, we've got to create this movie player. So we're going to say self dot movie player is equal to MP movie player controller, and then do an open parentheses here. And we want to do this content with URL. So it's asking for an NS URL, and basically that NS URL is basically it wants to know, hey, where can I locate this file? Right when we draw, uh, drop the Steve.mp4 video into here, uh, this movie player needs to know how to access that. It's saying, "Hey, where inside of the app or on you know the file menu can I find this app?" And so we have to come up with an NS URL for it. So above here, we're going to say, uh, "Let path be equal to NS bundle." dot main bundle dot path for resource and we want the one that just uses a name and a string so this is asking what's the name of the file and what type of file is it so for the name uh, we're just gonna do our double quotes to make a string and I'm just gonna use the name of the file here and it's Steve and you'll note Steve has a capital S you have to use the capital this has to match exactly what this looks like and then for of type, in here we're just going to put mp4 because this is an mp4 file. So basically, you just take whatever's before the dot, put that in here, and then what's ever after the dot, you put in here. Okay, so this path, it's not quite yet an NS URL. So we actually have to say let URL be equal to NS URL. We'll do this with the parentheses. And we're going to say file. URL with path and we're going to just pass the old path right into there. Okay, so now that we've done this, oh and we've got a because uh, this right here returns an optional for us, so we have to do this exclamation point to say okay, we know that it exists. Now we can pass this URL into here just like that. And uh, now this movie player is set up. So now that the movie player is set up, Let's uh, just to tell it a few more things that it needs in order to show the video on the screen. Uh, so that's the main issue. We have this movie player, but it doesn't know where to show the movie on the screen. And so we're going to say self.movieplayer.view.frame is equal to self.view.frame. So this line of code is just saying, hey, whatever the the view frame and the frame is kind of saying the size and position of things whatever the frame is for this uh, view controller this screen set that equal to this movie players thing so our our movie is going to take up the full uh, screen of the view controller okay so that's what that line is doing um, oh we've got to do the exclamation point here because the movie player is the optional okay so now that we have that uh, we have to set up this movie player to prepare to play so we're going to say self that movie player exclamation point dot prepare to play um, and that's just something that Apple's written into their code that we have to call this line before we play a video so we do that and uh, then we're going to say self dot view dot add sub view and we're going to pass in self dot movie player exclamation point dot view just like that. So essentially what's going on here is these two lines here are saying okay this is where you can find the video to play. This line is saying okay now that we know where the video is create this movie player controller. In this line we're saying alright let this uh, movie player take up the whole screen. Here we're saying get the movie player ready to play it. Uh, then we're going to add this movie player's view onto our view controllers view. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the play button and see what our uh, video looks like here. And you can see it's playing. It's taking up the full screen. And this uh, MP Movie Player even gives us some controls, like we have a pause button. You know, we can move to a specific part in the video, like 
this is just awesome. It's really great. So um, also, if you don't want the video to take up the full screen, uh, right? So this line is saying how big the movie player should be. So if we go here and say, instead, uh, CG rect make, it's going to ask us for four things. And it's going to ask us uh, where we want the top left position of the video to be. So maybe we'll just say zero, zero, and then it asks for a width and a height. So we could just say 100, 100. And if we go ahead and hit play uh, on our app, you'll notice that it just takes up this little itty bitty space. And that's probably not a, what we want, but uh, you know, you can have tons of control about where this goes. Like if we, so this is the X position, this is like left and right, this uh, is the Y position, so this is up and down. So if I add like, you know, maybe like uh, 200 onto the Y, now watch this. When we hit play, now the video's down 200 points. If we want it to go over to the right, uh, maybe let's have it go over 100. So we'll go and hit play, see how that affects it. Uh, now you can see it's over there, okay? So let's just say though for our app, we want it to you know, take up just the top part and it should be the width of the screen and it should be a square. So we're gonna make this zero, zero, so it starts up at the top left. And then for the width here, we're just gonna say self.view.frame dot size dot width. So this is just saying, hey, whatever width of the view controller is, that's what the width of our movie player is going to be. And we're going to do the same thing for the height of the movie player. We're going to say, hey, whatever the width is, that way it's just like a really nice square. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's hit play. Just make sure that's working. And it's beautiful. That's exactly what we want. It's a square and it's taking in the exact width of the screen. So now let's just make it so that we can show all three of our videos. So I'm actually going to pull in uh, these two videos, pull in the freaking app promo. Okay, add that in there. And uh, we'll also add this downcasting, okay? Just like that. And I believe with the movie player, you can add more than just MP4 files. I think you can do like dot .move. Uh, MOV. There's a lot of different file types that I think this uh, MP Movie Player accepts. I don't know all the specifics, but uh, that information's on the internet if you need it. So now what we're going to do is go to the storyboard, and uh, this is our view controller where the video is currently playing, and uh, we're just going to add some buttons in here to play the different videos. So I'm just going to drag three buttons. Uh, I'm going to keep them kind of on the left side here. Uh, and I'm just going to say, this one's called Steve, this one's called uh, Promo, and this one's going to be called uh, Downcasting. Perfect. So let's just hit play, make sure that looks all right. Um, that we can see those three buttons down below where the video is. And uh, okay, it looks like I need to put them down a little bit lower. Okay, there's uh, a lot better ways to go about this, like using, uh, you know, specifying where things are go. But the main point of this is I just want to show you how to play video. So that's why I'm kind of going a little bit janky on these buttons and stuff. Okay, so now that we have these three buttons, we're going to hit the circles here to do a split screen. And uh, we're going to take the Steve button, do a control drag. Make sure it's we have an action, and we're just going to say Steve tapped, okay? Do the same for promo control drag, and make sure to change it to an action. Promo tapped, okay? And then we have downcasting. We're going to do the control drag on that guy. We're going to say downcasting tapped, okay? And remember, actions are just saying, hey, when this button is tapped, run the following code. It gives us, um, if we go back to full screen here in the view controller, it gives us this little block where we can run uh, whatever it is that we want, okay? So let's start with uh, the promo tapped, okay? So uh, if, we, if the promo's tapped, we want to start playing the promo video, okay? So uh, first, let's just make sure this video can play. So we're gonna take Select this, copy exactly 
the name of it, go back to the view controller, and I'm going to replace that with Steve. Okay, just like that. Now we'll hit play. We have build succeed. And that video is working. Okay, so we know that the video works. Um, now we just need to make it when we, I'm going to change that actually back to Steve. We just need to make it when we tap on promo that it will then play the promo video instead of the Steve video. So the best way to do this, since we're going to have to do it three times, is take the code that's inside of here and put it into a function. Okay. So we're going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, func uh, play video with name. And we're going to pass in the name of the video, which is a string. And we're also going to pass in uh, of type. Okay. And that's also going to be a string. Not a strong, a string. Okay. So here we have this function. Uh, I'm just going to take everything that's inside of here, do the control X, place it into there. And instead of just putting Steve for sure in here, I'm just going to say whatever comes from the function. So I'm going to pass in name. And here I'm going to pass in uh, of type. Okay, so now all we have to do here is say self dot play video with name and we're going to pass in uh, oh nope I want the name of this so freaking app promo okay of type mp4 all right so let's run this and see what happens so we should start with nothing because now inside of the view did load we don't have any code and if we hit promo the video starts playing that's perfect now we just need to do the same thing for Steve so we're going to Copy and paste and just change this to capital Steve. Okay, so we'll hit play. The promo one works. Now let's hit Steve. And now that one starts playing. But you don't hear this in the video, but both of them are playing on top of each other, and this is a problem. So we just need to put a little bit of extra code in here that just makes sure that everything stops. Uh, so we're going to just say self dot uh, we're going to say if self dot movie player is not equal to nil uh, we're going to do self dot movie player dot stop okay stop the video then we're going to say self dot movie player is equal to nil Okay, that should stop everything. So let's hit play on this app and see how this works now. So I have hit the promo video, it plays, I hit Steve, and now Steve plays and the other one stopped. And I can go back to promo, I can go to Steve, and you just see how simple that is. Now watch, uh, let's copy this line again, and just do it for the downcasting stuff. Change this one to down, uh, casting gotta make sure I spell that exactly down casting okay so we'll hit play and we can play the down casting we can play promo we can play Steve and let's say just by default we want it to open with Steve all we do is copy this line paste it here and when we hit play ta-da here's the Steve video then we can do promo down casting uh, yeah, it just makes it really, really simple. So, uh, using this MP movie player control that Apple's made, it's really simple to play a video in an iPhone app. And again, if any of these other parts were confusing, like if you thought what's an optional, um, or if you just really like this tutorial, I would invite you to go check out my classes. Uh, you can find them at madeupbypeople.com. Uh, I really try to uh, be simple in my teaching, and if you found this helpful, I think you'll find a lot of other things in my class helpful. We cover things like parse, navigation, and whatnot. But uh, thanks again uh, for listening, and I hope this tutorial helped you out.